human beings are driven to create and we yearn to be remembered. A building lives on, often years, even centuries after the passing of its maker. So we've always been in search of materials that are strong and beautiful. From stone blocks to marble, mud to bricks, seasoned wood to concrete. Each generation has built on the successes of the past. Modern architecture, however, demands much more. Indian infrastructure is poised for a major growth. It is at the cusp of transformation. Tata Steel has continuously evolved itself in this journey. Recently, we had connected with many global experts under a platform called Construct Steel, which was organized by World Steel Association. In that platform, we have gathered in which direction the new practices, next practices, and the best practices are moving. Tata Steel would be actively engaging in adopting those practices and taking this infrastructure journey to a newer heights and a greater heights. Every age uh, of buildings has uh, certain uh, reasons why uh, different things come together. You know, your functional requirements apart, the kind of architecture, the kind of materials, the kind of issues that the building has to address at that age is important. The architecture that is required in buildings, which is in terms of the type of experience inside the building, the type of construction, the speed at which we construct, the issues which are important during and after the construction of building. These all uh, are in favor of steel uh, because steel is a material which gives you very large flexibility, very good strength, uh, largely off-site fabrication and very good uh, life and there are aspects of uh, overall environmental sustainability which are in favor of steel. So all these issues I think coming together uh, give architects uh, I think a very natural inclination towards using steel. Architects are extending the limits of design. No more boxy structures or straight lines. Curves are in. Asymmetry is in. Functional excellence is in. Sustainability is in. The trick is finding the right materials that work. One such project which has been recently inaugurated is the Bohibil Bridge. The project needed customizable steel which would in turn help improve productivity. Another challenge was Assam being in the high seismic zone. To take care of these challenges, Tata Steel offered their super ductile steel that helps especially in seismic zones. It's a tremendously versatile material, very strong, very durable, and I just found it's, it's an amazing material to work with. Steel has the unique advantage of malleability combined with strength. There is no shape that steel can't take, no texture it can't replicate. So much so, we often don't recognize it when we see it. Sometimes, you know, I feel it just like clay. It's very easy to mold. And uh, given uh, 21st century fabrication technologies, uh, anything from a box to a blob could be manufactured in steel. India's rapid growth is most evident in the infrastructure projects. Structures today are about pride. We too want to be known for well-designed, beautiful structures that stand their own ground among the world's best. What's making this possible? Steel. Tata Steel is right in the middle of the action. Be it the Mumbai and Kolkata airports, the Bogibil Bridge in Assam, or the iconic Sea Link in Mumbai. In a nation filled with opportunity and driven by talented, passionate people, the availability of the right resources can make all the difference. As India takes a bold step forward into a sustainable, innovation-driven future, Tata Steel stands at the ready, giving truth to their mission, building the very bones of the India of tomorrow.